is Tarani from Asiatic Wiz, and I'm back today with a video from bbcraft.com. I was contacted by the good people at bbcraft.com to select a few items from their site, do a few videos showing those items, and perhaps a tutorial or a finished jewelry update using the items I purchased from bbcraft.com. So in today's video, I am going to share with you the first few items that I selected from their site. If you are unaware, bbcraft.com is a website, a warehouse from China or from the US. They have two different warehouses that they ship from and they have great prices, a huge selection of beads and findings and all sorts of things that you would want or need to create your beautiful works of art. So. I am going to leave a link down in the description bar for you and this is in the description box to their website in case you don't have it. And let's get started. The first thing I have here is one of their bracelet making kits, which I didn't know they sold. So here in this bracelet making kit, they actually give you a tool, which looks like round nose pliers. So you have a pair of round nose pliers that come with it. And in this case, and in this case, it is taped down. Hold on. And in this case, you have about 430 pieces of 430 pieces of natural stone in order to make a beaded chain bracelet. And the directions are here. They give you instructions on how to make the bracelets. You can make six bracelets. And obviously you don't have to use the directions to make their style, their uh, design, but you can make your own. So for anyone who would want to get a nice gift for someone or would want just something a little bit more of a theme and they don't have to buy all of the items separately they provided a nice kit which has quite a few little beads in here so here we have the green aventurine we have rose quartz these are carnelian we have malachite beads these are natural agates and these pretty aquamarine in color here we have we have a lotus flower link we have a toggle clasp and we have a rectangle flower link there. And we have a few pieces of these. Again, this set, this kit is expected to make six bracelets. So you'll have enough clasps to make six bracelets. In this section, we have a man link. We have a rectangle link and a sort of barrel shaped rectangular link. We have jump rings. Again, we have the eye pins and the round nose pliers they provided. These beads look like they're about four millimeters probably, somewhere between four and six, I would say. And I thought this would be great. Just, I wanted to see what they had and to see the quality. And so far so good, I like it. And we'll I'll come back and show what uh, what I made using these. Speaking of tools, I needed a new pair of chain nose pliers. So I went ahead and got myself a pair from them. Just something that is always needed and I like to replenish them every six months or so if they've been getting a lot of use from me. Another item I picked up was some 20 gauge silver wire. I want to get more into wire wrapping, so I'm practicing a lot. And when you practice, you use a lot, you waste a lot. But silver seems to be a very common uh, use for me. And I wanted to make sure I had enough to do what I wanted to do. So I just got some more of that. And the last thing I got from them was some chip beads these are assorted chip gemstone beads and they're all taped down in this case and 
I don't want to open them because I don't want them to go flying everywhere because once gen once beads get loose, they are never to be seen again. So I don't want to lose them. But what I will tell you is that we have a variety of chip gemstones in here. Um, we have tiger eye. We have tiger eye here. We have amethyst here. We have carnelian. We have crystal, turquoise, fluorite, rose quartz, and a smoky quartz over here. So I'm excited to get started using these. Um, I've, I haven't worked a lot with uh, gemstone chips, so I am. I have a few ideas that I want to do with these, and so I will come back and share with you what I created with these gemstones with this wire, and I will certainly show you what I make using these, using their bracelet making kit. And that's all I have for you today. And I also bought my own tool, a tool for myself to have. So that's all I have for you today. Please stay tuned and come back and see what I create with the items I received from bbcraft.com. I will leave a link to their website in my description box below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.